Hello, my name is Chris Davala. I'm here at Roush Yates Manufacturing, and today we're going to show you a little bit about fixturing using some Mighty Bite vacuum plates. So the problem that we were having, we used to run these little parts one at a time. But the last thing you want to do is stand in front of your machine and have to load a part every five minutes. So as a programmer, I wanted to come up with a better solution so we could run more parts at once. So what we did, we took this Mighty Bite vacuum plate, which is a plate that seals with this O-ring. You flip a switch, it sucks down a vacuum with some air. We put these plates on there. So we took the Mighty Bite pit bull clamps and the locating rails. We put our parts in right here. I had a very limited space to work in. So what I did is I put two clamps pushing this way and two clamps pushing this way. So we have opposing clamps pushing up against these rails to locate the parts. And we lock them in with the pit bull clamps. We cut a little pocket in here to get the height just right. So we have enough room for our cutter to get over top of it. We torque everything very precisely. That way our parts don't move around and they stay perfectly flat. Once we put them in, as you can see, they're definitely not gonna fall out of there. We use these two precision dowel pins on the back that locate right here. We put these on here. And while this operation is running, we can load our second operation while the machine's doing the work for us. So we have these pockets cut in the second operation so they match the part perfectly. We use the Mighty Bite Uniforce clamps, which puts opposing pressure. So we put our parts in. When we tighten our clamps, the clamp forces the part out, holding it down. Again, we torque it very precisely so the part does not distort. When we're done running that first operation, we take our plate off, put it over here, put our second operation in. While this part is running, we bring this plate back over and we load it while the part is in cycle. And that's how we use automation to keep jobs in the U.S. and be smarter about manufacturing.